This is NBC Connecticut Today at 5.30 back to NBC Connecticut today. The time now is 556. February is the month to go red, raising awareness about heart disease. It is the number one killer of women. One big problem is symptoms of a heart attack can be much different than what men experience. A New Britain family is sharing the story of recently losing their mom to what she did not know was a heart attack. My mother was one of the most active women I know. She was a very active senior. Um, she would tell me about her days. She was involved with different civic groups, her church. Alisa Gadiosi and her father, Richard Pacerno of New Britain, look back at pictures of her mother, Janet. The vibrant 70-year-old who lived for her community and family died on New Year's Day. They say it's hard to believe, knowing Janet just enjoyed Christmas with her grandchildren, worked out at the gym daily, and spent endless hours volunteering. Not only was Janet very active at home, but she was busy traveling the world with her husband. This is her zip lining in Costa Rica. But on December 29th, while visiting her youngest granddaughter in Rhode Island, Janet suffered a heart attack. No one realized it because the symptoms she described were so vague. One could tell, just observing her, that she was uh, in some sort of discomfort. Stomach cramps, uh, nausea, I think these things, uh, frequent visits to the bathroom, um, abdominal pain, but not sustain. It would come and go. Richard says his wife also felt occasional pressure on her chest, was sleepy, and had no appetite. They knew something was wrong. The idea of calling an ambulance came up. She wasn't in that much pain to say, oh, you know, I, I think we need to call that ambulance. She was kind of on the fence about it, and she felt she could kind of wait it out, at least till she got back into her, um, her, her home area. The next day, Janet checked into a Connecticut hospital. From there, they determined that she had been suffering a mild heart attack um, probably since Friday night. And Jeanette Ferris is a Yukon Health Center cardiologist who lists some of the atypical symptoms women experience during a heart attack fatigue or shortness of breath or maybe the pain is not in the center of the chest maybe it radiates goes to the jaw or to the left arm and that was Lisa Carberg reporting some very good and helpful information there next at six 